the white room a place completely devoid from the pleasures of modern society there's no beeping or buzzing of notifications messages or emails for many of us technology has become a crutch we use it to escape from reality, to avoid uncomfortable emotions and to distract ourselves from the world around us. Which brings us to the topic of dopamine, a chemical that's released in one's brain as a result of feeling some sort of pleasure. This is why people get addicted to drugs, playing video games, watching adult content and constantly scrolling on social media. It's the reason why 90% of you lack the attention span to watch a video that's more than 60 seconds without getting bored. You are addicted to the quick and rapid dopamine hits that provide instant rewards. Your cell phone has literally become the first thing you reach out for in the morning and the last thing you see when you go to bed at night. Let's look at an example. As soon as you're sitting at your desk, you have the choice to either pick up your book and start studying or pick up your phone and start watching useless videos. Your brain will naturally want you to pick up the one that releases more dopamine because it gives you more pleasure. So naturally you'll find yourself scrolling on your phone for hours on end only to feel bad about it afterwards. Some of you are probably watching this and thinking, well there's no harm in watching a few videos. And yeah, you're probably right if you're watching these videos during your study breaks. But here's the thing, when your brain releases too much dopamine, it will deceive you into stimulating that craving over and over again, till that harmless habit turns into a full-blown addiction. And this is how people develop drug, alcohol and gambling addictions. But what's truly terrifying is that most of these come companies are exploiting this extremely addictive system to keep you scrolling. That's why social media platforms use an algorithm to keep suggesting you videos you might like and why streaming services upload entire seasons for you to binge all in one day, resulting in most of us unconsciously focusing our whole lives on getting the next dopamine hit instead of creating the life we actually want to live. Which brings us to the White Room Detox Challenge. This is a challenge I created to try and bring back balance into my life. And I hope after watching this, you'll be inspired to try it yourself too. So here are the rules. Rule number one, no social media. Delete all the social media apps from your phone, computer and laptop. Consider how Ayana Koji and the other White Room students were trained. Did they have any time for social media? Hex nah! This will help you to focus on your own life first rather than waking up in someone else's. Rule number two, no entertainment. Yes, this includes YouTube, TV, Netflix and anime. Doing this will remove many of the things that distract you and help you to gradually regain your attention span once more. Rule number three, no junk food. This means you can't have sweets, chocolates or fizzy drinks. So all you'll primarily be drinking is water. And trust me, this will help you eat healthier and overall boost your energy levels. So what's the first thing you'll realize when you start this challenge? Time. You'll have so much extra time from not scrolling on social media that you'll be tempted to break some of the rules of this challenge. But lucky for you, there are a few ways you can overcome this. The first and probably the most important thing you'll want to do to prevent failure is to plan out your week as detailed as possible. I suggest having a detailed schedule and setting up a daily goal tracker. I created one on Notion that helped me track my goals for the day, which included cold showers, meditating, exercise, practicing a skill, and reading a book. And even though I didn't achieve all these goals daily, setting them up helped me stay focused and kept me motivated to continue with this challenge. The second thing you'll want to do is exercise. I promise you, setting some sort of exercise goal is extremely important for this challenge. My exercise goal was not too challenging but not too easily attainable either. I wanted to reach at least 10,000 steps a day and how I tracked this was by buying the most affordable fitness watch I could find and using it to track my progress. This really helped to clear my mind 
and get me pumped to tackle my day. And lastly, you'll have to take cold showers. This one was particularly difficult for me because I had never intentionally taken cold showers before. But I can assure you, the benefits are completely worth it. Okay, that's cool and all, MDK, but what have you learned from taking this challenge yourself? After taking the 7 day challenge, I was able to get back into my daily routine, I enjoy exercising again, I'm more productive and I just feel more refreshed and motivated to keep chasing my goals. You see most people, including myself, have become too attached to the pleasures of technology, so much so that we've lost sight of our goals and aspirations. But I really think that this kind of detox can help improve someone's life by getting rid of all the noise and distractions that we have in our daily lives. So if you decide on taking this challenge, come back to this video and let me know in the comments how far you got and what you've learned from this experience. And with that being said, be sure to warm and smash that like button. Subscribe today to join the Spartan army and until next time guys, peace.